Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. I hope you're well. We've been talking about, uh, we started yesterday talking about the importance of church in the life of the believer and how important it is for us to be where God wants us to be. We looked at 1 Timothy 3, 14 through 15, and he says that he wrote this so that we may understand how we are to conduct ourselves, how to behave ourselves in the house uh, of God which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of truth. He's saying that it is the church which holds up the believers. It's a church that is the, uh, the gatekeeper of the word of God, that we are to protect the word of God, thus protecting the people of God. We meet together because if you're born again, as I said yesterday, if in order to be a member of this church, we're not open to... Everybody who decides to come in to be a member, they can come and attend, but they're not going to be a member. They're not going to vote. They're not going to uh, be able to hold offices and stuff like that in the church. If they're not born again, if they're not baptized, in order to be a member, you have to be born again and be baptized because we believe that is essential. That is the first step of identifying them, uh, uh, identifying before the world that we are truly saved. And, uh, and once we're born again, the Bible is very clear that our relationship to the world has changed and our relationship to God has changed as well. That God now is our Father. People like to say, well, um, that we're all God's children. And that's not true. God is certainly all of our creators. Cre uh, he's our creator. But he's not our Father or he's the father of those who have trusted in his son, Jesus Christ, for salvation. It is at that point, the Bible is very clear in Romans chapter 8, verses 15 through 17. He says, For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. For the, Father, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and join heirs with Jesus Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that, that we may also be glorified together. He's saying that we are part of the family of God because we, we are united through the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Paul emphasized that in Romans chapter 2, 11 through 22, and Galatians 3, 26 through 28. We are no longer uh, orphans, but now we're part of the family of God. And as part of the family of God, we come among our brothers and sisters in Christ into the house of God, as we talked about yesterday, into God's house. Each Sunday is a family reunion. That's where the family comes together. We come to hear from the from the uh, from the man of God, from the word of God who's gotten inspiration from God to speak to his children. And so it's important that you and I understand the importance of our relationship, our our time with one another. It is absolutely essential. How important is the being in the house of God? It is absolutely essential for every believer. And uh, so it's important that we understand that idea. Now for us in this church, as a pastor, you know, I pray, I believe that when we come into the house of God, there's a covering over those who come in. And uh, that we're putting ourselves under the authority of, of that church. And as a pastor, I take that very seriously, and I pray for each member of our of our church, and really for everybody that comes if, um, I, on my knees before God, and I mention them in prayer each each day, um, because I want God to cover them, to protect them, to uh, bless this church, and and to, to meet each need, to pray for those who need healing, to pray for those who are struggling, to pray for those who are um, who 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 need that relationship, uh, who need a deeper touch with Jesus Christ in in their life. It's important that you and I understand the role that each one of us plays. Not only 
for us personally to come into the house of God and submit ourselves, but we also play a part in, in helping others in their relationship with Jesus Christ as well. Amen? Amen. Let's get to the house of God this week. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well, and I'll talk to you soon.